The purpose of this video is to share information about the Fulton County Board of Revision. If a property owner believes a property valuation needs to be adjusted, are there formal options for adjustment? Yes, property owners who disagree with the valuation of real property can appeal to the Board of Revision. To initiate a property value dispute, a property owner must complete a form called a complaint. The complainant, that's the individual or individuals completing the form, must indicate what they believe the fair market value should be, and they must briefly state a rationale for that requested change. The complaint must be filed with the auditor's office between January 1st and March 31st. The form can be found online at the Fulton County Auditor's Office, or it can be obtained by calling 419 337-9200. So what is the Board of Revision specifically? Now this board is a three-person quasi-judicial board comprised of the county auditor, county treasurer, and a county commissioner, or their respective designee. The Board of Revision is responsible for conducting hearings where relevant facts legal arguments and evidence are presented to determine the fair market value of property. Now this is the amount a willing buyer and a willing seller would agree to in an open market. So what happens after a complaint is filed with the Board of Revision? Directly, a hearing will be scheduled. Parties involved will receive a hearing notice at least two weeks in advance of that hearing. So oftentimes, the question that comes up is, what does a taxpayer do to prepare for a hearing? And the answer to this question is the same thing that a person would do to prepare for a meeting about property value. During the process, the complainant has the burden of proof to justify the desired valuation. Keep in mind, the Board of Revision can only make changes to the property values. It cannot change tax rates or tax amounts due. It is the responsibility of the complainant to effectively support their opinion of value. The complainant must provide reliable and credible information, evidence, and facts to demonstrate fair market value. There are standard good reasons to file a complaint. Some of the examples of good reasons to file a complaint are the property has had documented damage in the last three years. The property has been sold on the open market or an appraisal has been completed by a certified appraiser that shows a value different from the value set by the county. Similar properties nearby have recently sold for prices which differ from the property valuation at issue. Now there are certain arguments that the Board of Revision cannot accept to show fair market value. These are some examples of those arguments that cannot be used to change that fair market value. While the Board of Revision can consider arguments based on recent sales of similar properties, it cannot consider arguments based on valuations of similar properties. It's important to keep in mind that the property valuation, not the amount of taxes owed, is the subject of the complaint. The Board of Revision cannot directly change the amount of taxes owed, but if the decision results in a change to a property valuation, taxes will be adjusted accordingly. How long does it take to receive a decision from the Board of Revision? The Board will issue a decision by mail within 30 days of the hearing date. If the Board of Revision changes a value, it will be effective as of January 1 of the year for which the complaint was filed and will remain in effect until the next property value update. Are there appeal rights following a decision of the Board of Revision? Yes, a party can appeal to the Board of Tax Appeals or the County Common Pleas Court. Thank you for watching this video. If you have questions, you can call the County Auditor's Office at 419-337-9200.